Okay, we're starting chapter six, the transom. First thing it wants us to do is run the planking on the inside. So I started cutting some planking. They do not have to fit flush on the sides because there will be the bulwark planking will go in later. And those will have to be ones that will be trimmed. But these can just go up. I've cut five pieces so far to make them fit. They can come up to the gun ports. And according to the instructions, they will be, basically, they will be cut to the edge of those gun ports. And then the whole inside will be painted red right here. So what I'm looking at now is see where these are falling. I'm trying to get a board to run evenly across at the bottom of the, the gun ports or just below. That way I can trim everything around. It looks like the way it's working out, that they're going to fall right on that edge of that gun port, which will work for me. So I'm going to get these five planks glued in and continue on up and get this whole in inner transom planked. And come back after that, we'll be doing the fashion pieces on the side. And then we can work on the outside. And these will be glued on probably with just wood glue. That should be sufficient. I can clamp them in place easily enough across the back here, I think. And then, once I get up to here and get those dry, I can start working on the pieces around the gun ports. They'll be trimmed, each one to fit. Then get the ones on top and continue on. There we have the transom completely uh, filled in on the inside of the planking, sanded, and uh, I've angled the um, wood so it's straight out of cannon shot. Now, next step in the instructions is to go ahead and paint it red. So I'll get that going now. I'll only have to touch up on the inside of the cannon openings, but that's no big deal. I think this may end up with two coats, but we'll see when I get there, what it looks like. When you paint this, you want to make sure you go on the inside of the cannon ports here too. But you don't want to go on this outside edge for the where the outside outer transom wood is. That should still be whatever the exterior hole is going to be, whether it's stained or painted. And there we have it. Entice paint it, I'll let that dry, and then when I come back, it'll be time to do this the the fashion pieces on the side. Once those are done, then I can glue in I think it's two pieces across here for trim, and another piece goes along here, and then you take this quarter inch wide by 16 inch thick piece of wood, soak it, and it needs to bend all the way around here after I get this sanded to a nice curve. Paint is dry on the inside of the transom. I'm sure at some point I'll have to touch it up like right there. That's fine, as we expected. Next step is I need to put the fashion pieces on. There's a piece here, a piece goes underneath and a piece that goes on underneath that. So they'll be cut, angled, and fit. Instructions say there's only one layer here. I'm gonna go ahead and put two and sand it down so it looks good. Because it's awfully thick back here because then it should curve in anyway but first the the um, sure straight sure plank needs to be cut to fit it so I've already marked it for the width of the board 
and then I just cut that off. Um, previously when I glued the, those planks on, I tried not to glue this back edge. So hopefully this bit of surgery will go fairly easily. Nice sharp knife. Should be able to get in there and cut it off. And then you should just be able to pick it out of there. Like that. And just leave the perfect slot for that. Go ahead and cut that piece off as well. This piece will go in here, but then you get an angle down here. I'm not sure what the angle is. The instructions show up fairly close to the, the planking, same angle as the planks. So, we'll stick it in. Mark it off. Probably about like that. And give it a cut. Close, but I think I'm going to get a little less of an angle on it. <clears throat> that looks good. So it comes down to the edge of that. This top I can just cut off is going to be trimmed up anyway. glue on something like that but before doing that I need to cut off this top whale I oh. think the same thing going on here Of course, this one I think I glued all the way back to the edge, so. Something like that. And the piece of wood will just go like that. That's almost the right angle, too. That'll work. Get this one glued in. And I'll work on the rest of them. And this is supposed to be three pieces of wood, so one will go right here. Something like that. going back and looking at the instructions to see what they show. Where are these 
these angles. Something like that. Because as you cut the angles, if you cut an angle and do another piece that's, that's square against it, it just will not line up. So get a little angle and minimize that, that uh, mismatch. there and the last piece you go right there from up there to looks like about there got a little bit big and sneak up on it Cut to the right length first time. What does that happen? Get that glued in. Then I'll go ahead and do the other side. And like I said, on this first one, I'm going to put a second layer on. And those can be sanded so they're nice and round and blends in. And at some point in time, they'll be painted black to go with the rest of the, the um, wells and streak. And clean up all these little spots of glue because they're going to bug in later on. I guess I'll just put a second one on here and I'll just let it kind of roughly to match and let it hang long. Maybe I'll we'll put another piece here and so I can just round it down into this. So I'll get that done and be back. So here I have the fashion pieces in place. They still need to sand it down, but I'm going to sand those when I get the whole stern shaped, transom shape. Meantime, I'm going to start working on the three pieces of wood back here. And what it says to do in the instructions is to take one piece of wood and put on the uh, transom, the another one right below it, the eighth inch away I think it is, and then put the second layer on the transom. But I think. It's actually going to work out to be easier if I put this piece on first and then put the other two pieces on so the top one curves to match then this piece and the bottom one curves to match the top one. So I'll get those on, that on really quick. Same wood glue I've been using for this piece. For the other two pieces I'll probably use uh, super glue on. I know this piece has a good side and a bad side, so I'm gonna put the bad side. Just only thing as bad as weird grain on it. Put that towards the transom itself. So I'll get this sucker glued up and stuck in place. Let that dry and then put the other two pieces of wood on. I'm going to get this thing on <clears throat> so that it has about the same distance from the black up to it and that these corners of the cannon ports don't necessarily fit under it. I can adjust this by taking a piece of wood that would be supposed to go here, stick it on and get it about where I want. I think right there is going to be good. Clean up my glue. And I'll let that dry.
I'm gonna make sure I get this glue pretty well gone from here because this piece will be stained as well as the two pieces with it goes underneath. Looks good. That's for the pieces of wood underneath. 16th by 16th chunk of wood, and it says that you need to have a groove in it. I put a groove in here. I don't know how well that'll show on the camera. And all I did that was follow the instructions and took a uh, uh, all and just made a groove down it. Several passes. You're just pushing the wood down. I should have enough here to get both strips out of. So once that glue is dry, I'll get these two on. The last thing we'll have to do is this piece of wood here, quarter inch wide, um, three, three seconds thick, I think it is. Well, I'll be bent around to go around the top of the transom, but I gotta sand all that first, get it to final shape, and then I can put that on. Once those are on, then transom will be stained, the cap rail, and the fashion pieces will be painted black. Back with it, we got the uh, fashion pieces on the back. Now I just need to paint them, paint them black and touch up where I need to touch up on the black paint around it. I have it all masked up. Still need to put in the two pieces on the back. Worry about those after I paint because they're gonna be um, covered in Danish oil anyway. I ended up cutting this piece in half and getting it bent in about three different directions. I still had to do some little shimming on the back here to get it so I get the proper overhang on the stern. A little bit of gap here I'm not work, uh, happy about, but I'm not going to worry about because I don't think it's going to be seen that much. Once you get mast, rigging, everything back here, that's going to be minor. I may change my main later, but I think right now I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Let's see how it goes. So I can get ahead and get in here and paint this up and see how it looks. Just need a little bit of stirring there. Oh, that's better. But this will get a few coats on. And then it should be good. So I'll come back to you before I put on the pieces on the stern. The trim pieces. Here we are, I have the the um, rail on the back. Now it off, got it painted up. Probably needs one more coat on the top, but that's fine. I'll, I'll do a lot of touch-ups anyway before this thing's done. Last step in chapter six, I think I'm on, is, get you moved over here so you can see, is this piece that goes along the back here. There's one, two. I've already gone through and put the nice little detail on it. So I cut its length, glue it in, and do a second one and glue it in. The correct distance down, which I think is like an eighth of an inch. And then I can do a little bit of sanding here. I got some super glue here I want to sand off. And then this whole back I can stain. And then to help alleviate the chipping, I may go ahead and coat it. I'm not sure yet on that. Because I still have a lot of stuff to do on this bow. And I don't do that until after I do the interior. 
So I'll get this in place and that'll be the completion of chapter six. Like that. Cut it just a hair long. So that when I get glued in place, I can get it to bends up naturally just to sit in place. That'll go right there. Fits beautifully. Get it glued in place. <clears throat> now I'm going to use super glue on this, I think. in and get it positioned. like that and then down here let that soak in underneath and then we glue it in place because I may have to do some black touch-ups here but that's fine so with that in place I can go ahead and get the second one Cut to length. About there. Make sure it fits. And figure out the distance it gets glued at. The area between the two monitors should be no less than eighth inch wide. Hmm. They can eyeball that. Should be about right there. Do the ends first since I know they're in the right spot. Little bit of standing, a little bit of standing, and this transom will be done. Let me get rid of this piece of wood in here. So I will get that uh, stained up and be back once it's fully cured and do a little bit of touch-ups and 
<clears throat> sanding to get rid of like this black here and this shiny here. 